swimming perfect as it should be <sighs> my biggest hope is that this just kind of works and plays out the way that I want it to worst comes to worst it doesn't and uh, I don't know we, we fix it Oh, that's not even... it's not the perfect size. That's awkward. That's very awkward. Look at that. Universal Interactive presents oh, Shut up. A turbocharged extravaganza by Vicarious Visions! Well, the thing is, I don't know how big the HUD is gonna be. For Crash Nitro so, let's get that figured out first and foremost. My controller? Okay, we're good. We're all good. Definitely not first, but I appreciate the attempt. Is it just a square game? Do I just have shit in a square? That don't sound right. Smash buttons, smash buttons, smash buttons, smash buttons. No, get, get in line, buddy. Yeah, you were most certainly not first today. But you tried, and that's what matters. Got the notification so late for what reason? It is just a square game. Well, that makes this a little bit easier. That means I get to just awkwardly sit here and crop it while you guys sit in silence. Uh, that's not enough. 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 That's still not enough. I'm also scared of rectangles. It's okay. We'll get through it together. Looking like 310 on both sides. That's a lot better. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. And then we just... Uh, squares, however... Squares, on the other hand. Well, this will have to do. Oh, the PS2 version has the other versions of their uh, of their icons on the left. That's really cool. 
That's very cool. Uh, so today, we're just going to play Crash Nitro Kart, which is just going to be me doing... I've kind of wanted an excuse to play this game. And I figure I'm just bored and I've been wanting to play it, so why not? Let's just do it. Hello, Tina. Uh, we got two teams. We got good team, bad team. What team we doing? What team are we feeling? I'll just do whoever, whoever says whatever one first. We bad? Say less. Oh, we get to do a name too? Uh, this one will be... Bilo. Bilu. <laughs> Bilo 3? Damn, this keyboard is jank as fuck. How's this one now? Upstream being going good. I just started, but thank you. Uh, this game is uh, definitely my favorite crash racing game, though. This one gets kind of overshadowed by Crash Team Racing. But that's okay. We're gonna watch the cutscenes because my challenge? they're silly. I would hardly call okay, hold on. Actually, thoughts. I had thoughts. We're gonna go back to the movie thing in the game and rewatch the intro cutscene that we missed out on. We unlocked a cutscene. Yup. Save that bitch. You will have to race in order to win the galaxy circuit and save Earth for us to conquer. To compete in a race, drive onto a warp pad with a vortex on it. Finish the race in first place to win a trophy. Collect trophies to create additional vortexes to more tracks. Drive fast and don't fail me. <laughs> uh, crash games, especially these like old crash games are so silly. Bro, I just want to drive. Let's get our let's get our lore dump first. The lore dump is super important, especially because of one of the characters in this game, and I'm sure you guys will catch on super quickly if you don't know of his existence already. He is exclusive to this game. Does it do the full intro? It does. All right. Very important. So we are just going to watch all of these. That's a joke. Well, I've heard you can lose a lot of weight on it. But you can't keep it off. Just eat less and exercise more. Something's wrong. That's not sunlight. Yeah, they needed a they needed a floating happy mask and a floating angry mask. The wisdom and the rage. Oh, how can I defeat those pesty bandicoots? Hmm. And conquer the world, of course. Bandicoots! I can squash bandicoots. Yes, yes, I know you can, Tiny. But you failed so many, many, many times. Tiny, go see if Dr. Engine requires assistance. <gasps> Bingo dial! Throw the switch! Damn! What did you break now? Oh. Killed the fuck out of Dingo Dial. <laughs> Endangered list, yeah. <clears throat> Ooh. 
What have you done, you miserable Marsupial? I am Emperor Velo the 27th. Ruler there he of this is. <laughs> My subjects hunger for entertainment. And word of your racing prowess has reached my glorious empire. <laughs> and I hope you put some returning control, villains up there. Especially since winning the circuit will win your freedom. And if for some reason you refuse to race, your earth will be destroyed. But. I don't think it will come to that. Do you accept my challenge? I have never played this game when my name on the internet has ever been Velo, so hearing a bunch of people yelling, cheering Velo is really weird to me, but that also means I can use that sound bite for something, and I think that's really funny, but yes. The Emperor's name is Velo. <laughs> Now we come right back to this. Do you accept my challenge? I would hardly call these games a challenge. We'll win easily. <laughs> <laughs> it is decided. You will race across four worlds of my choosing. And if you should win each world's key, you will earn a chance to race the galactic champion. He did do the freedom. no bitches emote. <laughs> <laughs> to give you a fighting chance, I even modified your earthling vehicles. <laughs> now, on to the first world! Terra! Awesome. Yeah, Velo face reveal. That is what I look like. Unfortunately, I'm not the cute little bunny boy people think I am. I am, in fact, Big Green Bastard. So I'm gonna kind of feel my controls around in the, uh, in the hub world here. Because I've never... Needless to say, me personally... Never played the PS2 version of this game. I've only played it on my GameCube. Oh, it is L1, R1, and not L2, R2. You do not have enough keys to compete in this event. Not what I wanted, but thank you. And this is the yeah, okay. God damn, stop. Alright, yeah, 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 not enough. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, 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 okay. 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 That did not feel good. Okay. A warp pad is your gateway to a race. To compete in a race, drive onto a warp pad with a vortex on it and you will be transported to a track. Finish the race in first place to win a trophy. Collect trophies to create vortexes to other tracks. Win race, go to other race. That's it. That's the whole game. Fucking L2? Okay. <laughs> the controls are backwards from what it would be on on a, on GameCube. You would use the triggers, L and R, and you would use Z to look behind you, which is the front right button. Now it's front left and right button and back left button to look behind you. Which is super strange. Oh, it feels so good. Feels so good to be back in this game. So for those of you that have never really seen crash racing games before, the entire point is that while you're drifting, you can fill up that little meter on the side of your vehicle to get a boost. And you have kind of like a reserve system of how much it keeps inside of your vehicle. And if you're good enough at the game, you can just kind of, you know, do this the entire race. I 
I'm far from like the best player in the world. But I am pretty good. Oh. Well, we have unlocked the fourth member of the evil team, which we unfortunately can't use in the story. But the unlock condition for him is to get 50 boost as the evil team. There's one for doing 50 boost as the hero team as well. But that's a cool unlock. That's uh, one down. No, I hit the wall, so it's all gone. Some of these tracks, I'm going to be doing shit like this where I'm just good at it. I got a little cocky. The ping threw you off, yeah. It was a little... Uh, it was a little strange. Oh, you're going to see the little pop-ups in the top left corner a bunch. That's okay. I don't mind that. We also get this awesome... Fantastic, amazing cutscene that we can't skip for a little bit of the start of it that we get at the end of every single race. It's great. Excellent! You win a trophy! If you hop up a jump, you'll get a boost when you land. The longer you are in the air, the larger your boost will be! Got the race came from the award ceremony? Yeah, they did. Wait, did you guys see the moon? It is Shrek. It him. It's like that in the fucking. <laughs> That's awesome. Hold on. Wait a minute. This is fucking hilarious. Time to rip the picture. I put him under the game. Stop. There we go. We'll leave him right there. <laughs> so ugly, man. Shrek has ascended. Uh, yeah, some of the some of these races I'm going to be doing really well at, like the first one. This one, I don't remember nearly as well. And I won't do bad. Definitely won't do bad. Oh my god, the crunch icon looks so ugly. No, my speed. I forgot how to do air brakes properly, too. That muscle memory is gone. Damn, that's crazy. <laughs> if y'all want to know where my racing game art came from, it being good at racing games ever, like these kart games. Started with Mario Kart DS and Double Dash. Continued with Mario Kart 7, and then I just one day really wanted to play this game and was like, I'm just gonna see how good I can be at it, and I found out. All the, it's kind of funny, like the reserve system and air braking and everything, these are like real techs that the community has like found out, named, everything like that. I named pretty much everything the exact same way, but I just literally, uh, lack of internet access in my room on a CRT on a GameCube was just grinding this game out just to figure it all out.
It sounded like I was describing a melee player setup, but I promise it wasn't melee, it was this game. Crash. Yeah? Sometimes. Not currently. Right now it's Cortex. Cortex cart. Excellent! You win a trophy! I'm gonna listen to that every time. When taking a turn, your cart will slow down. To avoid slowing down, start a power slide by pressing and holding the hop button while turning. The power slide ends if your cart hits anything or goes out of bounds. Thank you, Aku Aku. <laughs> New profile picture? Yeah, so my friend Bunny crying at uh Twitter at Bunny Crying. Like B-U-N-N-Y-C-R-Y-I-N-G. Uh, I'm using this one temporarily until I actually get a get a real real new one. But uh, for my birthday, she did a little sketch pile of my Sona all together. So this is currently my Twitter profile picture and my and my Twitch profile picture. I love it a lot. I think it's very cute. Forgot about the funny jank ass fire hitboxes on Tiny Temple. Definitely the worst. Definitely the worst track in the first hub area. Oh yeah! Whenever I complain about Mario Kart 8 and Zero Gravity, this game did Zero Gravity. That was the point of the whole game. You can do Zero Gravity in this game. <laughs> I didn't get on the ramp. That's such a shame. The only balance change between this game and Crash Team Racing that I don't agree with, personally, is how many Wumpa Fruit you get from the boxes. This game you only get three, and CTR you get six. And it caps out at ten. When you get ten, it increases your speed and what items you get from boxes and stuff like that. Which is cool and great. But, uh, getting, having to get four boxes is way harder and less worth it to do than just getting, uh, I pressed the item button again. Mistake. Uh, two boxes, four boxes, big difference, and you lose three every time you get hit, so every box you hit is basically just one single hit's worth of this stuff. Ran out of reserves already. I can also switch the, uh, I don't know how I do it. I'll find the button. I'll find the button. There it is. You can switch the map into a, uh, speedometer for yourself. As you can see, it is also charged up because of the lump of fruit. I usually prefer to keep it on the map just because I think it's kind of funny to see how far away everyone is. There's like a whole team mechanic in this game where when you're close to people you get a little charge up and then get spammable items for a little bit, but you have to be close to your teammate. And they will almost, almost consistently, should be, it would be shocking if they weren't, but they should almost consistently be the closest AI to you at all times. So we get to hear Cortex crying a lot. Which is a great, great sound bite. You've collected three trophies. A promising start. Now you must face Terra's champion, Kronk! Kronk's speed is only matched by his cunning on the track. They will race me. They look slow. Send them back. But Kronk, they're from a planet just like yours. It's called Earth. Earth! I have heard of this planet. It is a copy of my Terra. I will race them and show them 
Who has better planet? Ooga booga monkey. <laughs> Kronk. <laughs> it is pull the lever, man. He is here. Excellent! You win a trophy! While in a power slide, the boost gauge will appear. When the gauge goes from green to red, the exhaust on your cart will turn black. Press the boost button to get a boost before the gauge expires. Thank you. Big cutscene unlock. This is going to be fun having to save over for every single one of these. Oh my god, and him! This is a boss race. He drops items consistently. We race on this level again. Some of the boxes are replaced with triple items. Oh, a mask. That's the equivalent of a Mario star. Um... These are supposed to be hard. That being said, if you're even... Oh man, that's crazy. If you're even slightly decent at this game, you shouldn't have a problem. If you know how the boost mechanic works in the slightest, even if you're not chaining them almost permanently, infinitely, forever. He's not really a problem. Let's see if I can hit the shortcut. That line was so pretty. Oh my god, that line was so cool. Oh man, he's popping off, he's going insane. Fuck the shortcut, who needs it? Who needs shortcuts when you're playing the game like this? Ah, uh, that's what I that's what I thought was gonna happen on the first lap. God damn it. <laughs> line greater than shortcut. Absolutely. If I can do a line that looks really sick, then I'm gonna take that over the shortcut. That being said. Cuts and lines are both really cool at the same time. Crunk time. Beat Crunk is any team in adventure mode. <laughs> the line. All too easy. Piney's planet number one. Key makes you champion of Terra. Also opens all world gates on my planet. Just do not make trouble. Trouble? I won't make trouble. At least not until I've conquered my planet first. Crunk! <laughs> Leave my sight. Rough. That's rough, buddy. You did well, but you're nowhere close to winning the circuit yet. On to the second world, Baron. <laughs> Wrong lever, Croc. I think the only platform that the CTR Nitro fueled remake game got not released on was PC. Perfect. You've won a key. Perfect. I think it was only not released on PC, which is such a shame. Cause I want to play it so bad, but I don't have a way to. Excellent! You have activated this world gate. Enter the gate to travel to a new world where you will find additional tracks to compete in. Victory will be ours! <laughs> yeah, victory! Real quick.
We can now do this. Collect every crystal in the arena before time runs out, and you will win a prize. Uh, but yeah, I think the only way I technically have to try it out is on uh, is on Switch. There's an achievement for doing this in 35 seconds, according to the bottom right indicator of my retro achievements thing. Oh no, I have to be good at the game. I chose Cortex because I thought I wouldn't have to be like fast. I thought I would just have to do it. Hold on, we actually have to like map this out then. Uh, hard left into that crystal. Okay, grab that one. And then they're all inside? No, there's one there. That's what I thought. There's one back here, too. Okay. Is it, I have to see, is it collect them all in 35 seconds, or is it have at least 35 seconds remaining? Looks like I have 35 seconds remaining, so that should be even more doable. Oh, my controller's acting up, it keeps going left. I thought I was crazy. I thought I was just, like, drunk turning, not paying attention to myself, holding the control stick. Clearly not the case. Oh my god. <laughs> this is awful. Probably could have caught this on the way that I was already coming, which would have been so much more preferable. I should get items so I can just dash through the mud, right? Does that make more sense? Is that a thing I can do? No. My joystick is giving out on me. About all that needing a new controller nonsense I was talking about. See how much I can do without worrying too bad about drifting. Pretend like we got that one around the corner. And then what, this way? See if we can get like that one, do this one. Go up here, do that. It wasn't perfect, but that would have done it. Cortex? Cortex? Okay! <laughs> Fat ass head. Oh. Thank god the fat ass had that time. That's what made him pick up the crystal.
Damn it. <laughs> that sucks. That means we gotta do it again. What's up, V? Yo, what up? Welcome. I could probably route this a little better, too. Do the jumping ones first, maybe? No. No. Definitely not. I think I like doing this one on the left first, though, for sure. What if we just, like, tackle it all, all at one big, one big juncture? Get this one here, turn this way, get this one now, grab the boost, turn, turn, miss it again, miss it again. Restart, because I missed it again, 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 and again, and again, and again. F5, yeah. See, there are people that are, like, competing for the leaderboard and shit on the website for this time. I'm just here to get it done. I'd love to be precise. My controller does not... It quite simply does not work enough for me to try to be precise on shit like this. That booster went away, I guess. I've got less time this time than I did the other time. I'll still try anyway. That did it. <laughs> I went from like 36th to 30th just from that. 30 out of 49. We take those. <laughs> Get her done. Actually, I've neglected to check the website and see what I'm actually accomplishing. So let's do that really quick. Uh, do the story, do the story, do the story, do the story. Start the final lap in last place in the challenge, CNK challenge without any letters collected, and then finish the first with all of them. Okay, we'll figure that out later. Destroy every time crate, perform 100 consecutive boosts in a single three lap race. Oh my god. Uh, what? <laughs> what map do I do that on? Win a seven lap race on hyperspaceway with hard CPs without getting hit or falling off. That's a lot. Maintain your boost reserves throughout a whole three-lap race. See comment? Oh wait, no, I know what it means by reserves. Complete adventure mode with both teams. Unlock you, unlock the others. Uh, when... Da -da 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 -da. Complete the cups on hard with all the points. Complete the other challenges in a certain amount of time. Oh, and then it wants me to do Platinum Relics and shit. I can grind those out another time. And then it's Time Trials. And create a Battle Arena in the Earth Editor. Okay. So there's nothing, like, out of the way that we have to do. All of it is just going to literally be... Play the game and do good at it. I don't think this is the right place. I think I went into the wrong portal. I did. Well, that's okay. It means I get to unlock it from this side as well. Uh, fun fact, the game actually rotates you depending on which way the cart is facing.
So if you can somehow speed in and do a quick, like, break, air break, and turn yourself, you can just make it, like, you can make it rotate you sideways, basically. Like, you're moving forward, but you're turned the wrong way, so you're just barrel rolling in the direction that you are tumbling instead of around. Love it when achievements are be good at the game and incredibly niche stuff you were going to do anyway. I like it when achievements, personally. Oh, that was the fucking, that was the perfect one. You can get the perfect achievement here. This is probably the easiest one to do it. If we're being completely realistic in terms of everything in this game, if there were ever a track to try to do one where you, like, maintain your reserves... Oh, I lost them there because I jumped too high. If there were ever a track to maintain your reserves on, it would literally be this one. There's technically a shortcut there, but I think you can maintain your boost if you go this way. Okay, and I don't want to do it that short because then I don't have reserves. Okay. So I'm right, I just have to hold on to the drifts for longer. That was me hitting the wall. Maybe this track wouldn't be as perfect for it as I thought it would be. Let's just race on it then, like normal. God. I have to break there. Break, air break. Maintain my boost. I don't know if I have enough boost and reserves at that point to do that, though. anyway, so who cares? Cut it really tight so I can start turning harder. This is going to be me not speaking because it's just kind of... I just wanted to play this game. I am going to obviously try to be streamer, man, but I just wanted to play this game and I wanted to make sure I stream today. So this is what I'm doing. I think next time I stream, I'm going to do Cult of the Lamb again. After performing a slide boost, the boost gauge will begin to fill up again. When it turns red, hit the boost button to get another more powerful boost. Three slide boosts in a row make a slide boost combo, which will give you maximum speed. Speed. Wombo. <laughs> When did Mr. Krabs enter the game? Uh, he's always been here. 
Maybe the real Mr. Krabs were the friends we made along the way. Oh, I love this course. What a good course. I've lost my reserve because I kept jumping. I'm on your six. That's good. This might actually genuinely be the course to do it, though. Yeah, it's what I was uh, mentioning earlier. The entire mechanic of this game with the teammate thing is that little bar on the right next to his icon. When we're close to each other, it charges that up and we get to do a frenzy of items for a little bit. We ba literally basically just get to spam items as fast as we can press the button, damn near. Not quite that speed, because that would be broken broken but that is the idea so he is supposed to be as close to me as he can be which doesn't make him perfect he still drives like a normal AI just a little bit better which in the case of this race I did not grade on the second lap but I was still doing better than the normal AI would want me to do because I'm pretty sure the story is set to a certain difficulty so he is very close compared to where everyone else is. Ah, oh, close. It's almost a beautiful race. Would definitely help for our teammate to be the the best one. It was all a dream. Uh, let's keep Baron Ruins in mind for uh, for doing a lot of these other like consecutive boost achievements. I think that might be a good one. Excellent! You win a trophy. After a boost combo, the boost counter will appear. It will count any additional boost until your card returns to normal speed. With enough practice, you can maintain boost speed for an entire race. So true, bestie. Me when I boost my speed. What am I looking? Yeah, it's this one. That's what I thought. Oops. All of the courses in this world are super fun. I like all of them. Baron Ruins is probably my favorite, but... Uh, of the three that I mean, but... I think... Honestly, I love them all. I think this one lands least favorite. But if I have a good race on it, I might just change my mind and put the snow one up as my least favorite. This one would also almost be a good candidate for the reserves one, if not for this section, because of that. Not a lot of counterplay to that. If I had gotten here at a different time altogether, then it might have been fine, but like consistent. If there's a consistent time where I just kind of get hit by it by a no for no matter 
Oh my god, my brain. If there is a consistent timing that I get there and I get hit by it no matter what, then that just kind of ruins the entire concept of it. And unfortunately, I'm not consistent enough at this game. Oh my god. Case in point, I'm not consistent enough at this game like I used to be. To be able to be like, I was nothing there, but okay. To be able to do something like that and just get away with it. Oh! Tiny sounds like heavy. A little bit. I'm on your six. That's cool. Oh, another fun fact. Uh, you can't hurt your teammate. I just tried to. Very blatantly tried to. But now that we've charged up the thing, we get the team up, which is just... Uh, there we go. Oh, we got hit. Oh, is that how that works? That's kind of cool. Well, I just wasted it, but... Uh, infinite items. It has a... Every single time you use an item, it starts another item box roulette. Another benefit of not being near the other racers in this game is you don't have to listen to their super funny... Super, super funny quips. Super classic quips from every single character in this game. Ah. Calm down. Are you kidding? That <laughs> tickled your toes. The doctor is in. It's the doctor. And I think even though he is my teammate by all legal means, if he wins the race, then I technically didn't win the race, so I'd have to redo it. Which there is no, literally... 0% chance that that happens on the normal trophy races. It doesn't matter how poorly I start doing. Like, this entire race has been a nightmare. Terrible, but I was still in, like, no danger. Your favorite characters like Alien, 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 and Bandicoot. Hold this view count while I get ready for work. Appreciate it. You now have six what up, Velo? With this, you have earned the right to race Nash, Baron's champion. Nash was engineered to always move. He never stops or even sleeps. Is that enough? Ugh. I need to get moving! Soon, Nash. Soon. Not soon. Now! <clears throat> oh. Excellent. Oh, God. Thank you, Duo, for the gifted sub today. I appreciate it. Oh god, your generosity is too much for me. When you enter a vortex, Sparky will ask which member of your team you want to race with. To better your chances of winning, choose the best driver for the track. The best driver for the track, funny enough, is, uh, the same guy. It's the heavy guy. For the same reason that the heavy guy is the best driver in the track. In every crash racing game. His handling is low, which means he can drift in almost a straight line. But he can also turn when he needs to. Which means you can boost the entire race, damn near. Day was also here a second ago and speaking, and I think he was one of the few people active in my chat that's not currently subscribed due to you guys bombing me when my birthday passed around, which I still appreciate. Thank you again. That is pretty funny, yeah.
That was very awkward. But everything's working out, so it's okay. Somehow. Oh yeah, these are also, uh, completely locked down. When we are, uh... Er, uh... Doing the boss fight. So that he doesn't just get ate on by them. No, <laughs> I thought it would drop me. God damn it. The shark just the Ruboth fight? Yes. Fucking Nash. I believe all of the bosses in this game are playable characters in, uh,. In CTR Nitro Field as well. I think they also have Crunch in there, so. I'm just saying. If they do ever put the game on PC for some reason, or I find a way to play it, uh, catch your boy, catch your boy main in Crunch, because. That's just who I've always been. They have a very interesting way of making the vibration in the controller go... <laughs> Thank you, Tiny. Cybernetic sharks? We should try that. Yes, yes, they could make great henchmen. But this one lost. <laughs> oh my fucking god. It fit right in. Give me my key back! <laughs> and sharks make such silly demands, too. Why, you... Nash! Get out of here. I'll deal with you later. Well, you're halfway there. Here's where things start to get tricky. On to Phenomena. Phenomena. We'll come back for the other stuff later from the other races. For now, we'll just do these crystal challenges so we have a little intermission in between and then keep doing the worlds like normal. Oh, that's true. That is a thing that happens. Okay. So never hit if we ever hit two it, it it's over. That that's over. 
We have to go over 40. I'd rather do the hill for that. Okay, we're gonna have to reroute them. If I can avoid it, then I can land into that TNT and jump that one off. I mean, that works too, I guess, technically. Or we can just dodge it outright. That's also cool. This is gonna be a bomb, I think? Yeah. not do that. We're already almost out of time. How feasible is it to get all these ones? Those entrances and the two in these corners of this entrance. Okay. Probably a way we can zip zoom through like the middle and start getting the upper areas too. Like start getting this one, get this one next, go to this one. Spin out. Get this one. That's where one of these is, but we can do that. Do this. Grab this one. Blow up, I guess. Because what else are we gonna do at that point? Go this way. Thank you, Tiny. That one, that one. This one, this one. If I could blow up into one and just finish like that, that would be ideal, I think. I don't know if that's even the best route for this, though. Doesn't seem like it. I like the idea of starting like this. The only problem is if I hit the TNT, that just... That's a done deal. What if I go, like, just outside, and then this one? Yeah, okay. Then I can do that one. What does that give me? Another one that's down there, and all that's left is the corner one? Yeah. Okay. So that means I could go the other way as well. I could just do it this way instead. Go up. Do that. Get these and grab this one down here. And then I could go here. Fuck. Yo! Ah! I did the funny. I did the funny not in damage state. Well, this is not this is not a run at all. But that was a funny. That was a very interesting and funny run to go through. Okay, this one. I would like to grab you too. If I just say fuck it to everything else I've been doing and just do it like this. There's like nothing in this corner, right? Yeah, the side of the map has nothing, so there's, like, almost no reason to do that. You almost certainly did see me do this before, yeah. I 
That's fucked up. Let's let's swap back the cortex so we still have a little bit of that speed, but better like acceleration and shit. That's gonna be hella fucking vital, I guess. It doesn't even put you directly outside of it. That's super messed up. God, arena mode definitely is a thing in this game, though, that exists. I will give it that. Yeah, this acceleration feels so much nicer to deal with. Did not feel good. That being said, this is also way more touchy feely on the turning. Mm. <laughs> nice. I disagree. That did not feel good. Well, I'll tell you one thing. Not good. So on your list of things that you could assume it felt, don't don't ever think it was good. I need to map this out way better. Hold on. If I could give myself like an overhead view of everything to just to literally map it. That would be my preferred method of doing things. That was unfortunate. Jump. Turn. Two, three, four. Yes. Where's the last one? Is it also inside? Are there two in here that I missed? This one. If you open the minimap, does it show it? You cannot use the minimap in this mode. It just doesn't allow you. It's not there. Not real. And that's because this is one of the battle mode maps. Let's just everything all at once. All at one convenient moment. Then grab this one, hit the TNT on purpose. That doesn't. Oh, that does matter a little. Let's do that though. Let's try to do that. We'll just go around in a circle on the inside first. Do this one. This one. This one. Spin out. I don't care. Get this one. Grab that one. That's fine. Who cares? Try to dodge these. Okay. Big turn. Grab this one. Grab this one. <sighs> Cortex! Oh! And then there's the one in the corner. Down the side down there. This one these two. So if I could finish here, if we grab all of them, we can finish on this side, because we can grab those and then drop down on the last crystal. Does Days have achievements? No, it doesn't. If it did, I would be working on that and nothing else with all my free time. In. Go this way. Oh, I should have done jumpies first. Okay. Hold on. Is 
Make them yourself. You're super true. I wouldn't know what to do that would be, like, more interesting than just, like, you know, complete the, complete the missions or whatever, you know, stuff like that. Okay. Last two were right there. If we had done it the way that I said I wanted to do it previously, that would have been it. We do have to be, I'm noticing, we have to be hella precise and consistent with these quick grabs like this, though. On this way. There is some this way. Yeah. Okay, do that. That. One, two, three, four, five. If I had had reacted properly, I would have done that and turned this way. And then we just start speeding. But then there's still that one to grab up there. And that one. Those two down there still. And the one over there. Hold on. It's with 40 seconds remaining. Is what it's asking for. Oh my god. It's not 45, it's 40. Go, dude. Ouch. Even if I went max speed, I still wouldn't have enough time to do it that way. So let's just... Say fuck it. Do this. And go out this way. I like to just get this and be done with it. I missed it. Okay, let's let's assume we got it. Let's just pretend we got it for pretensies. There's still that one. There's still those ones. There's still the ones above, and there's still the ones in the middle. We have to like keep crossing in and out of the bottom middle part. It feels like, but it doesn't feel like there's a distinct route to go through when doing this. Let's just cross through the middle. Pretend like this was normal. Cross through the middle, do this, go this way. If we got the box, we can do that. Go down for this one. And then what? Do we cross through again? Cross through, grab this one this time. And grab that one. Come up here. Get those. It doesn't make sense, but maybe we could try it. I didn't grab it. I don't care. If we're smart about it, we can do what I originally wanted to do and end there. Got you visible buffer. <laughs> yeah. 
I mean, all in all, it could be entirely possible that the way that I'm playing, I literally can't even do it. I could be having to drift boost all over the place like a fucking maniac and be precise with it. Might actually be time for paint. I think so, too. Okay. So let's, uh... <laughs> Hold on. Is it this one? This is what I wanted, yeah. <laughs> let's fucking... Let's, let's fucking... Alright. Uh... Let's take the game capture, let's like move it over here, right? And then we'll... <laughs> the PTSD! Yeah, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. Window capture, call it paint. Add a source. Paint. Alright. You guys don't need to see the rest of it, and I don't feel like cropping it, so that's what you get. You get that. Okay, so... Let's say... Okay, so we start... There's like a big thing in the middle, right? And there's... Holes on every side of it, right? I could just... Hold on. Wait. I could be smarter. There's holes on every side of it. Play Pursuit when doing the race? Yeah, I could. Okay, and then there's like another... ...outside area. Is there a ramp on every single one? There's a ramp on every side. Okay. So we also have to do the white rectangles on those sides too. There's one here. There's one here, there's one here, and there's one here. We start, we the player, will be orange, and we'll just put a little, we'll just put a little circle. We start right there. Let me put the fill back on. Oh, the fill is white. Hold on, hold on, wait. Right there. That's us. We start there, and now we have to map it out. So there's... God, can I make this easier? Can I just use like a... Like a red... Red dot? Like a bigger red dot? I can, okay. So there's... Of this ramp... There's... Like... I should probably do lines for the ramps too, hold on. Okay. Alright working out. We're making it. We're making the arena happen. <laughs> My Microsoft Paint skills are unparalleled. Okay, so there's like four, four, four TNTs, like, boom, 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 with the crystal in it. The crystal will be purple. You guys see it alright on the little bit bigger. There you go. Like that. Okay. So let's just let's follow the path. Keep going counterclockwise. There's in the middle, there's uh there's a there's a crystal right there with the two TNTs around it. Like that. Okay. The eastern ramp is the first one with the with the crystal and the TNT. Like that. Okay. We get a box. This one, this one's important. This one's special. We get two TNTs and we get a box. There's also a box in the middle of here, I remember that. So that we don't think this is a crystal later. Okay. There's like nothing going on here until we get up the ramp. 
right at the top of the ramp. They go boom, and they do for blue because it's in the air and we have to jump for it. Boom, the blue crystal. And in the corner is another purple crystal. Okay, and on this corner underneath it is when they do the they do the pattern. They do the that boom pow suck my exhaust pipe. Okay, and it looked like there was another one to the right that we had to jump for, right? Yeah, okay. So over here, we'll also put those in the air and we'll make them a darker red. What's better than darker red? We'll do like green, green TNT, because they're like nitro. Wait, we might need to do this later, so let's not do that. We'll do, we'll do the darker red. We got air TNT and another air crystal that we have to grab. And this is to the right of the spawn. And after that, it's just a crystal in the middle of the path. They just go boom just for fun, and then they do the, the TNT setup again. They do the funny TNT, which is funny because it's actually in line with uh, this crystal here. Just up. Okay. Alright, behind us. Behind us is another... Nice. Uh, behind us at the start is a is a red and a and a blue. Is it on the left? Yeah, it's like on the left ish. So it's a red and one we have to jump for so we do blue. And then to the to the left of that is another crystal just in the road. And then they do the other they do the other pattern again. The other the bat boom pow with more with more crystal for us to touch. And then they do the they do the corner trick again. They do the little corner trick again, right? So they put the crystal in the corner and you think like, ooh, easy crystal and then and then they get you because there's TNT in there. And then I don't think there's anything up in uh, up on this side, but we'll look anyway. Yeah. That one is triple TNT. Just for fun. Literally no reason. And they do the they do the item setup over here again. Yeah. Now we have to look at the inside. Okay. And I want to draw the little cutties. The little the little cutties that they do because there's a few of those. We'll do lines to signify the tunnel part. Right? Okay. Uh, damn, this chart has way more effort in it than it really should have, but... <laughs> Fuck that. Alright, and then we'll do like a, a thin gray line to be like this. This is the cutty thingy. Right? The cutty thingy. That was a terrible line. Let me try again. The cutty thingy. Okay, so first of all... Get a fat little crystal right in front of us to start. To the left corner is the TNT boxes with the crystal inside of it. And then that's one, that's one that's on the outside. That's the one I kept forgetting. This one's on the outside also, and this one's on the inside. probably does want us to curve out and around like that, actually, now that I think about it. I feel like that just makes more sense. How many TNT is this? Five. Because they hate us as a player. How much have you missed? Uh, we did Nash. We finished the second world and now we're trying to do the Crystal Cup. We need to beat it with 40 seconds remaining, which means we have 50 seconds to do it. Okay, I'm gonna save this because this took effort. Ice World. Okay, so I would imagine... 
that one also on the outside? Am I crazy? Hold on. I might be tripping. This one is inside. Yeah. And this one's also outside. So all of them are on the outside except for the one. Okay. So call me crazy. I feel like, I feel like this area, oh my god, we have been painting today, clearly. I feel like this area right here, let me make it red, this one right here, I feel like that's the part we're supposed to stop at, because I feel like we're supposed to just get that one, like that, just right there, and just stop, because that's like a, the TNT wall, you can get through it, but it's so unbelievably precise. But I don't think it's really, like, a thing we can do. This is freaking sick. This is silly is what it is. <laughs> Look at this junk that we wasted our time doing. So... I'm really not sure what the best way to do something like this would be, though. Because obviously it would want us to just go there first, right? From here to here. Can I make the background a different color, do you think? Do like one of these. That makes it stand out a little bit. Just a little bit differently, a little bit better in my opinion. Just for, just for right now. God gives his silliest challenges to his funniest clowns. Honk honk, bitch. Put the nose on. I'm right here. So I would assume since it's facing us here, they would want us to go to this one first. Just as a, as a standard, that's probably what they want out of us. This, as far as I'm concerned too, this area of the map, don't touch it. Don't go anywhere near it, because that's a fat time loss to, any, to go anywhere near that. It's just a matter of what could we, like, quickly do. Because if we have to, like, say we're coming from right here, if we have to, like, or right here, rather, if we have to grab this one, if we decide to go for this one next, even if we go over the wall or, like, under the wall, we have to, like, go here and grab it and then reverse ourselves to get out. And then from there, do we just, like, go up here, get these ones? Hold on, this might be the, this might be a route. So we go here. We cut into this one. We get this one. Go down here, turn around, go up the hill to grab these and this one. If we fall off. And then this is like our bridge. This is our gateway of destiny on which way we want to go next. This is what I'm thinking. Probably should end in one of those corners. You think so? Maybe. Okay. I'm thinking... This feels like such a roundabout method to do this, but I'm thinking jump up and get this one. Go back down to catch these. be like god this is so much stopping and turning around though okay if we do this and go here we can go for this one if we turn around we'll have an angle to go this way for this one but I feel like we'd have to end there at that point so I don't want to have to... I really don't want to have to go back into this area if we can help it. So let's let's do that again. Because we can just cut it off entirely. We go here, catch this one, grab this one, catch this one, and then do the same thing where we go around this way. And then break off, grab this one, 
go down here through these, and then... I just feel stuck, because we have to do... we have to do this ramp here for this one, and for this one. And I, again, I almost feel like I have to end right here, because though those TNT, there's no way I'm getting out of that. Unless, unless I, like, in a last-ditch effort, if I can... Oops. Let's say I avoid everything, and I get everything else. If we somehow can end up going back in here to end in that corner, we can, like, grab these and go from this one, we can run into a TNT crate. We just need to make absolutely certain that we either end with this one, or with this one. Because that's how much time we have. It's just a matter of... <laughs> Does he know? Can he do it? Can he make that kind of attempt? I'm not sure. I am not sure at all. If anyone else wants this map and wants to start drawing on it, let me know, I will send it to you. Because <laughs> this is silly. This is silly as shit. Actually, better yet, hold on. I can save this one as like... Save that one, and then I can do this, and I can save this one as uh... Nice world dark. And then what I can do, is I can go into here, I can paste them both, and then I can just post the link in my chat. The dark one will be easier for you guys to draw on, so I will just copy that link. Go into my chat. Oh, hold on. Get rid of the get rid of the question mark with height at the end. And I should just open it up. So if you guys want to start drawing on it, feel free. I think I am going to follow through with that plan. Of these ones to that one. Grab this one, turn around, go through here. Grab that one, drop off, get this one. Go back down for these. And then I have to make the decision. Alternatively, I could just take a different route entirely. Turn around, grab this one and go this way. So then I could just drop on that, I don't have to turn around for it, which is way faster. Grab this one. Grab this one. There's so many, there's so many things you have to commit to doing in this one. You just, it's, it's rough, but you literally just have to commit to doing some of these. I could do that to get the, the bomb. Okay, hold on. Ch change of plans for this too. I'm gonna grab that one and then go. That's how I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna grab that one and then start going. Uh, he starts, uh, north. If we're looking at this, and we start on the south end, he faces north directly at the first crystal. A little bit north- northeast, but pretty much north. If we do that and grab the blocks. God, there's so many things to go out of the way to, though, because we need to go in every direction. Sent one. Looking. Zigzag around, drop down, jump. Go south. I like this one. 
I do enjoy this one. I like this one a lot. Okay. All right. That will be that will be my plan of attack. So it's I have to I have to map it out and do it. Let me fix my fucking layout too. Fucking do that. Need to put you back in the right there. Okay. Okay. So, make sure I'm doing this right. I'll go bit by bit. You want me to do this one, touch, touch that one, go this way, grab this one, and this one, go in and out. Oh, snaps. <laughs> Thank you, Frank, for the follow. Appreciate it. Grab this, and we go up here, right? Okay, let me double check. Go up there, get this one, and just throw ourselves off for this one. Yep. And we go out the. That one's gonna be kind of hard to get. Go out the bottom end for this. Get these. Just these three? We actually almost did it on that attempt and that was sloppy, so. Oh, I see. I understand. Alright. You said do pursuit? Alright, we'll do pursuit. It's pursuit time. Alright. Alright, gamers. Time to go. Am I doing this right? Hold on. No, I'm going back to my old way. Hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Take it back in my head. That was like a perfect turn, but not quite. I don't have the route entirely in my head. Shoutouts to the moderators. <laughs> we got fourth place out of 30? On the leaderboard? What the fuck? Nah, hold on. That run was sloppy as shit, too. What is the leaderboard looking like? What did we get? What was our time? 44? 44.60? No fucking way. <laughs> Turns out the uh, highest rated or the highest ranking rather attempt on the board is a 4895. They did that October of this year. Crazy. Oh, holy shit. Good job, everyone. Doable. I, I tell you what, I'll keep this shit in my back pocket if we ever want to come back and start <laughs> popping off on the fucking, uh, you know, the fucking, r the challenges, the crystal challenges for no reason. Well, thanks to Diego, we can get right back to doing our, uh, our video game, our normal video game that we've been playing and forgot about. Go ahead and unlock this, because I neglected the gate to Terra, the direct access gate to Terra that I should have done before.
Phenomena. There's a racing game in this? I know, they put racing games in these puzzle games now. Kind of crazy. Uh, crazy? I was crazy once. They locked me in a crystal challenge. A purple crystal challenge. <sighs> and Cortex drives me crazy. A crystal challenge with TNT, and TNT makes me crazy, yeah. That's a good sign of things to come when we have to do the boss fight, because, uh, the boss fight is, in fact, on this track. Uh-oh. He went down, thank god. The worms on the side of the roads are like piranha plants that are not permanent, except they're like the... Y'all ever played uh, Mario Kart on the fucking the desert course where there's the sandworm in the middle of the vortex that like pulls you down? Yeah, they're like that thing. They fucking eat you and it makes you waste like 12 years of your life waiting to come back. Fuck. Like Gary Schwartz? I have no idea. Good cycles for him to be down every single time, to be honest, too. I don't remember how to do air braking while maintaining your boost. I know that's the thing you can do, I just don't remember how to do it. Not, but you know who it is, John DeMario. Oh, that's awesome. Fender and Schnitzel, we love that. No, his lines, they're awful now. Point and laugh at the streamer. <laughs> He spent so long doing puzzles that he forgot how to drive. Fuck. Hold on. Hold on. Reversing this game is down on the joystick, by the way. Mr. Streamer, your lines are bad. Well, you know what, chat member? You're right. Now what? I owned up to it. Do you feel bad yet? <laughs> Mr. Streamer, did you know you are supposed to drive forward? I had no idea. I'll keep that in mind for next time. Mr. Streamer. I like being Mr. Streamer. I think being Mis Mr. Streamer is awesome. I just realized how long that challenge took us, by the way, and now looking at the fucking... at the duration. Did you know that you were supposed to beat the other racers? There are other racers in this game? I need no 
Oh yeah, fun fact about the gear, it just crushes you. Or the cog, I guess, whatever it is. Whatever the hell you want to call it, it just crushes you. Not like these ones though, these ones are solid. They're also not always worth it, but I don't know how to describe that without using the exact words that I just did. What the fuck? We're friends, Doctor! We're friends! Oh! You're out of bounds. What makes you say that? You're out of bounds! Ah! I'm out of bounds. <laughs> On your 12! Oh my god, the frame trap! Zem and Zam popping off on me like that. I almost just killed myself with that. Gamers, this is not looking too good for me. We get an F in chat for Mr. Streamer not being good at the game anymore. I don't know what happened, I'm just joking. It's the map. The map is making me intimidated. We just have to turn it off. If I just turn it off, my feeble non-cortex brain will feel a lot better. Do we want like a do we want like a big brain emote chat? Do we get a big brain emote? Do you guys want one of uh, Cortex? God damn, I'm just bad at the game for real though. Random fact: Would you like a random fact about this game or about something completely random? Cortex, you're supposed to win for us. Get <sighs> one about the game. I didn't read that, my bad. Uh, did you know that the icons and the portraits for the characters in this game are not the same uh, in every single version of the game? But the ones here used in this version of the PS2 game that I have, the US PS2 version of the game, um, are, the st are the icons that are used on the box art for every version of the game. Meaning, for the GameCube version of the game, and I think I've heard in other places that it's like an NTSC versus PAL difference. Um. Yeah, they're just they're just different. Here's a good picture. Here's a good picture. So yeah, the ones used up on the top are the ones that you see in screenshots of this game, where not everything is correct. Like, on Pura the Polar Bear, his icon is gray for the helmet instead of purple. Tiny, you can see his ugly 3D model versus the nicely drawn version of him. And it's the same for some of the other characters, too. This is something that I have seen multiple different sources and reasons and everything all over the internet of why that is. Some people said it was beta, some people said it was region difference. Uh, in this case of what I'm learning, it just seems to be console difference as well, and I'm not sure why. I'm not sure if I just have like a higher revision of the game. We had the bottom set of icons? Yes, on our GameCube version that we own, that I've looked up. Uh, it's different. 
And on this version that I am on, that I own, some of them are different, like the tiny icon and the embryo. Embryo? Is that his name? The egg? Purple? Pink dude? Pink dude? I don't know my colors. Yeah, that one's different. But if you go look on the back of the box right now, you'll see that it's these ugly icons on the GameCube box instead of the nicer looking icons. It is, I remember that. Yeah! Uh, enough talking about random fact, though. Um, this course is fucking awesome. It's very long, but it's awesome. It's like a good mix of hard to play and beginner friendly ish, and then there's one hard turn right there that you have to sacrifice your boost for if you're not good at aw oh, doing the thing that I'm not good at doing. Oh, I didn't press break. We did think it was some kind of unlockable, because it just never made sense on why the icons looked like that. <laughs> now that I have matured and grown up, I realize that I much, much prefer, much prefer the other icons compared to these ones that I'm looking at right now. That tiny icon makes me feel scared, sad. Same with that crunch. Oh my god, the crunch icon they did my boy dirty. They did him dirty in Craft of the Titans too, though, so I can't act like I'm gonna sit here and be all surprised about that. They fixed him up in the in the Titans, the mutant games for the Crash series. They fixed him up between Crash of the Titans and Mind Over Mutant. They made him look real nice in Mind Over Mutant. But he is still a complete and utter disappointment in that series. Do one of these. Yeah, Crunch looks so much nicer. Uh, that's why I'm excited and happy to ever play Nitro Fueled someday, because, uh... Looking at that icon, thinking about what they did to him in, like, every single game... He deserves so much better. If I knew, if I knew that doing any amount of working out and eating better and stuff like that would get me to be like Crunch, I would do it. Every night before I go to bed, I rub my, my Crunch poster on my wall and I go, Man, someday, someday I'll be like you. I'd maybe a little more dead. It's Crunch Cannon or whatever? Yes! But it depends on what canon and what, like, time and shit you're talking about. Because, like, yes, he is. He exists in the universe and shit. It's just in most games, they just kind of forget about him and don't... <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Krabs. Yeah, and they just... They either forget about him or just decide to not put him in. With your nine trophies, you have earned the right to face Phenomena's champion. Norm. Oh yeah, Norm! Fucking love Norm. <laughs> Don't let Norm's size fool you. He's a demon on the racetrack. No! You are racing today! Now do it! Ooh, a race! Count me in! I don't want to hear it. The deal was that you race in return for me wearing this dumb getup. Besides, they don't stand a chance.
Norm is a character whose entire existence and like power and everything makes zero sense. But I really like him, so I'm okay with it. If you drive over a surface that slows your car, you can prevent slowing down by boosting or using an invincibility mask power up. Mimes are cool, Norm is creepy. Thank you, Mr. Krabs. Uh, Sponge Boy, me Bob, you be getting another trophy. Uh, guy, 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 guy. Uh, I'm fucking dying. <laughs> Want an M and M? <laughs> this is a race where there are two different norms, but only one of them count on the position tracker. But they can both fuck you up. I'm gonna not reset the race as well, because I feel like it's a little bit more interesting that way. Can they both fuck you up, or am I misremembering, or is that like a another difference or some shit? I might just be misremembering. It might be that the small one is the one that races, and the big one is the one that attacks you. But the small one is where their position is on the on the track. I just know that there are there are two things driving on the track right now. I received another follower? Yeah, it was a bot. I haven't gotten a follower in a very long time. me fuck an hour-long animation of you getting the shit beaten out of you by a worm but unfollow and refollow no not like that I mean like more channel growth Chris not notification I'm not saying I expect a bunch of people to come flocking to me when I stream games such as Kingdom Hearts 2 FM Randomizer and Crash Nitro Kart on my channel, but... <laughs> you know, would be nice. Because we have not gotten a follower since the year started. And if anything, we've actually lost follower since year start. Because I said goal 200, uh, we got, like, super boosted near the end of the year, and that was, like... The number was higher, and then it went back down. Wait, really? Yeah. What? Stop showing off, it's not working. You're making a fool out of yourself on the internet. Filthy clown. No, no. He's a mime. Mime clown? Close enough. With the painted faces and tattoos and stupid little honker things that just... Where do you get off calling me a clown? With your big head and your stupid springy hair. <laughs> Norm, 
Get over here! Uh-oh. Perhaps I need new ways to motivate you, like taking your books away. I thought he had you beat, but you proved me wrong. You won't be so lucky on Techni. <laughs> Not the books! I hope somebody clipped, I really hope that somebody clipped Cortex saying, Go away, clown! You want a key! <laughs> On it. Because I would have done it, but I didn't. And I couldn't, more like. Okay, well. We were gone for so long that I almost forgot. Almost forgot we'd have to do another one. We have to finish above 35 seconds. Why does Coco's face look like that? That mouth looks photoshopped. It probably was photoshopped. That's probably exactly it. I'm gonna try to avoid having to map this out if I can. I'll try a couple times without it, and then if it really gets to that point where I'm like, we should probably map this out, then we can map it out. Because it's, it's stuff like that, there's so much over and under. It probably will have to end up happening. A lot of these two are gonna become like box require because of the nitro crates not being TNT. We can be bad and hit TNT and jump it off. Nitro, doing that, doing what I just did but like quickly, is not very likely to come by. Okay, hold on. Let's start. We have like a long ass time to do this, so let me just. Grab a box, and then just like, right from the get-go, start just like... You cannot use items with TNT on your head. P-I-L. I mean, like, best come, best comes to happen, we just do it the one time and that's good enough. Because as it turns out, that's all we needed was to just drive around and not run into every nitro crate. Time for Photoshop. The big difference is supposed to be that this area is huge compared to the last one. Oh, we have five feel seconds good. left. And it was those two. Okay. I'll try one more time without, without having to... I say one more. I want more than one more. But I'm doing this one without, without paint. If I could help it. Okay. Let's go the outway with the bridge, this one. We're gonna get that out of the way. Go this way. Proper routing for this 
Yeah, we're gonna have to jump back three times total, anyway. Well, two times total. So you're definitely right, we wouldn't have to- if we want a proper route of this, I don't have to do them all in one. If I can be mediocre and get away with it, I will. Kinda looking like not this time, to be honest, but I'm still gonna try. Whoa, that did not feel good. That did not feel good. Okay. One more. I'll do one more. Whoa. That don't count. That doesn't count. That doesn't count. I really don't want to have to paint this out. I meant to air brake and turn harder, but I didn't. God, my bones. Oh, my bones. Are you fucking kidding? I need a second. I got my second. I'm so mad. Ooh, okay. Bust out the paint! Okie dokie, let's bust out the paint. Let, let's go, chop chop, doing the same shit we did last time. We're gonna use a different song this time though. This one? Yeah, Apollo. Apollo Justice music. God. No, you can go. I don't want you. You're not supposed to be here. There we go. Oh, okay. So this one's another circle, is it not? Would I be would I be accurate in calling it another circle? Do you guys think? Okay. So we'll just start. We'll just start with the circle. I know we have, like, the circle-y square in the middle, so we'll just make that thick and do that. Dude, it's more like, it's more like that, because it's all the other shit on the other sides that we're going to have to draw out as well. Okay, so we start on a ramp. We'll call this the bottom. We shall call this the bottom, which means it's technically a diamond. Perfect. Okay. We have a curve. Is it- does it curve up on both ends or is it just the one? This is one of the ones that's just the one. So, we start, like, here. It goes, like... That. More or less. Yeah, where's boundary break, right? I'll do like that, I think. We'll call that good enough. I wanna add... These go a lot closer than that, though, so we'll do that. Just to signify that they go all the way in. Okay. 
I'd like to map the level out first, as best I can. Do we start in this corner? This is a ramp that goes up on both ends, and there's death. It's death. The bad zone. Case in point, a bad, bad zone. Don't want to fall down there. And these both lead up to this part. We'll do that. And we'll do this up to here. And we'll do like, oop, not that. Up to like here. I'm making normal lines again. Up to here. And we can do like that. But it goes the other way too. Does it do the same thing but to this corner? Basically? Yes, it does. Like right here. Oop. You're fine. You're fine. You're fine, buddy. They like that. Like from here to like here. And it does the same thing. Ish. It's gonna be one super ugly, super duper ugly map by the time we're done with it. That's fine. And this one is also one way afterward. Up to here, like so. Bending around that way. God! sometimes. And this one is also more like a that. Just free ball it. That's what I've been doing, unfortunately. Okay. Great. So that's our thing. And on this corner is just... This is the line. This is the big line. This one's just a big line. And a floating platform, right? That's such a weird... That's such a weird... like that. And then we have like another like another dude over here. Is that correct? Have we gotten everything? I'd say so. I'd say that's all the real, like, curvature and everything to this whole map. So now we gotta start marking things, and boy am I excited to do that again. So we start right about right, right away. We start, like, right there. And we are facing... that direction. Okay. Starting off, we have the three TNTs in the crate. Okay. We have an air crystal to get. 
Hold on a minute. I hope that didn't break anything else. I don't think it did. Don't fall. Ha! Ah! Okay. We got in. It's like... Nothing in that corner. And that's the... Okay. So this corner is the one with the... Crystal and the three nitros around it. And then it's like... The middle is like... So it's like a TNT here with a crystal right next to it. And then they do TNT on the other sides of it. Would it be safe to say that they do... Like on the outside outsides? An extension, like an arrow almost? So they do like a TNT like... Here, and a nitro here, another TNT out in the back, and the nitro TNT. Yeah, like that. And we got a crystal on the TNTs on both sides, there and there. got the, the, the crystal in the corner with the other nitros. Bink, bonk, boonk. Awesome. Also, there's the, the air crystal there. Almost forgot about that one. Which means we go this way. There's an air crystal here, and there's an air crystal here. There's one here, there's one here, and then there's two nitros. Bop, boom. You can fall off. You can, you can in fact, fall off. News, this just in. You can in fact, there is a bad, there's a bad, wait. Wait, hold on, wait, hold on. There's a bad zone over here. Random fact, would you like a random fact about this game or a random fact about anything at all? Anything cool. <laughs> Fuck, I literally I had one prepared earlier. I always do this. I need to just write make a sticky note and just write shit down on it. What was it? What was I gonna? Oh, it's gonna hurt my brain so bad until I remember it. Oh god. Oh god. Oh my god. Holy shit. Oh. Uh. Uh. Did you know that the, um, did you know that the library of games of shovelware on the Nintendo GameCube was much, 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 much less than the library of the Wii? Because the Wii was both a system owned by so many more families and people in general when it was released, as well as it was easier to make software for it, because the system's hardware could, was capable of dealing with a lot, and also, putting things onto a normal disc was a lot easier than just a small GameCube disc. Fun fact, when we fall off, it puts us down at the, literally just down at the fucking start of the entire map, entirely. That's great. 
What's shovelware? Uh, shovelware is when you see, like, when they make Family Feud or, like, Wipeout. They, there's, like, a shitty company that you've never heard of in your entire life that makes a really shitty buggy game, but it's, like, licensed. And they do it just so that they can make money. That's shovelware. A leading example would be, uh, Wipeout <laughs> for the Nintendo Wii. this perfectly at all, but y'all are gonna have to bear with me. Yeah, quantity over quality, exactly. M&M's party. M&M beach party. Fucking, there's a box underneath this thing? How do I signify that a box is underneath it? is underneath it because there's nothing on top. There you go. <laughs> That's what I'm gonna do. I am not taking... <laughs> I'm not taking criticism. It's not good. This one isn't leading up the ramp like this one is. So I'm gonna put it, like, more out of the way because it's literally, genuinely, actually just more out of the way. two back here? Yeah, this is the- okay. This is the one with the fucking- there's the one back here, and then there's like a fucking- there's like a thing just here in the way, and then they go up, boom, and boom. It looks like a face with two different eyes. Ah! Oh! Let me double check I have most of, if not all of the boxes, real quick. Because I know for damn sure I missed some and we were running out of time anyway. Did I get this one? Leading up onto this ramp? I did not. Is this the right one? Should be. I mean, I drew this part on the wrong part. I think I did. Am I insane? I am a little insane. This was not correct. Hold on. That one's still there, too? Uh, did I mix myself? I did mix myself. Uh, there's so much... Uh, the way that I drew this was awful, but there's just so much to look at. So one, two, three, four... 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, wait, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, where's 20, 1, 2, 3, wait, there's one up here, wait, it's that one, 1, 2, 3, 4, 
5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. I'm missing one. Where am I missing one? I must have picked it up randomly when I was scouting. There's one jumping out that way, so it's... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, is that right? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Mr. Can't Count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. I missed the one on this TNT box. There we go. Storm World. Okay, well. Here, here we go again. I am not fixing the background color on this one. Y'all would like to There you go. I have no idea where to begin and where to end on this thing. Which one is the ramp that you can't jump onto from the center? Uh, the only one you can jump onto, if you mean like, if you mean like the ones from here that I can or cannot land on, it's literally only this one. The one on, that I have on the top left. This is the only one I can jump onto. All of the other three are ones that can jump into the middle. Oh, it left the TNT on me. That's fucked up. But the other way around it is not. So I could theoretically, if I were just going fast, do that, grab this one. I could go immediately left, but, well, that's how I kind of have to do that. That was a shitty explanation and way to look at it, but. I can also, as just proven right there, I can get through every single one of these little nitro blockades, I can get through them without a crate, but a crate as backup would be very wise. Yes, Shit like that could happen. And in that scenario, I landed on so many that I actually didn't lose my speed, I was able to just keep going, but... As I'm sure you guys could imagine, it would be a lot smarter to just outright avoid having to deal with anything like that if we can. <laughs> Holy fucking bingle. What? Yes. Okay. Well, let's again do do that. Do that, and then do that. Oh, God. Holy shit. Uh, this has been a big test on my brain. It'll be good for us to get all of these... All of these out of the way ASAP.
remember. I think I could just go off the ramp at the start and drop off the left to grab this hidden one back here. Then I don't have to come over here and spin for it. And if I do that, I can grab this one, cut off. Do this one. Yeah, I think that's what I'm gonna do. Start off by just... I have to find the angle first. Hello, Kiki. Welcome. Do that. Yeah, it's like right right at the, the grippy, graspy dudes is where it is. I just wanna yes. I just ignore the ignore the one up there, I can come back for it. Not really much reason to jump off anywhere except for there. And grab this one. Yes. Go off this way. Hit the walls. Rub my nuts against everything in my path. This way. Oh my! Here, cut here, get this one. Everything else is just in the middle if I do it that way. That's just a... Yes. Granted, it's a very roundabout way to start doing the loop that way. Ah, I didn't mean to get that one yet. There was actually a shot. There was actually a genuine, real shot to do it right there. That was too soon. So... Literally, just, like, line up with the start of the inside of the curve, like that, maybe, and I'll just... Yeah, maybe if I didn't have that speed, it would work out more in my favor. but might not be right due to elevation and props. Okie dokie, let me take a look. So go up, jump across, grab one, two, drop down, bend to the right, get those ones, go all the way across for that one and that one. Crate. Yeah, that one's not quite... Well... One, use item for top area. Two, use item for bottom area. Oh. I see. I feel like that's a little bit too much travel time. But I can try it. What's this? Uh, Crash Nitro Kart. We're doing a thing called the Crystal Challenge, where basically I'm trying to oh, the wind in my head. do that. Get that over here. Get this one. Get this one and hard right. Grab this and I turn around. Get this crate. Right? Is this right so far? Yes. No. I was supposed to go all the way into the corner. Uh, yeah, but it's a crystal challenge where we're supposed to grab all the crystals in a certain amount of time. Since I'm doing retro achievements, I have to do it in a certain, certain amount of time. I'm gonna use the item for the crystal surrounded by green TNT on top of the dun- Oh! Like, for that one, or...?
for top area. Oh, you meant it the other way around, I see. Well, we'll see if this works out or not. This one, this one, this one. Here's what else I can do. I can grab this bomb for safety right here. This one, we get this one, go to the corner, start wrapping our way around everything. Go up for the other jump crystal. Not the one surrounded by TNT, but the other two middle jump crystal. This. Oh, Fuck. Fuck, dude, come on! Yes, I'm okay with that bump, that bump makes sense, but the other one was stupid. This one, and then you want me to go, yeah, through the nitro. This one, and do that. <laughs> even if I did do it that way, like, even if theoretically I did do it that way, I think that's too much travel time all around. But I can try to do it with less stupid and see if that was my own error. Um, this way. This instead. This runs a looking a lot better, and if it works, it works, so I'm not complaining. Hello? Controller? Well, this will definitely get us there, so. Uh, works for me. Excellent. I just have to grab it in like three seconds. Great. 23 of 26. <laughs> we take those. We did it. Honestly, who cares? Could we do better? Yes. Are we doing the bare minimum? Also, yes. Nailed it. The bowling bomb will detonate either when it hits something or when you press the power off button. Detonation will affect any card in its blast radius. I think the route I was going was potentially better for it overall, but oh my. the fact of the matter is that we made it, so shout out again, Diego. The speedrun master, the, the hollow knight man. Why the tiki sound like Mr. Krabs? It is Mr. Krabs. Alright, we are in the final world of the game, guys. Back to Tiny. I almost forgot, yet again, that there was racing in this game. It has been... These things, these tournaments are taking us like 15 minutes to get through, and then we get to the planning and crystal bullshit, and then I look back at my duration, and it's like hour 44, 45 every single time. already lost my shot at the perfect achievement. Who cares?
I love my broken ass video game. I I love my broken ass video game. broken ass video game is this like the ps2 is it like ps2 crash nitro card is like gamecube sonic heroes versus ps2 sonic heroes because that's how it's starting to feel the amount of times that i've like collided with something too and heard like 12 collision noises instead of just like one is kind of insane. Can I talk about the strangest thing I've, like... I say can I, like, I need your guys' permission. I'm going to tell you guys about one of the strangest things I've ever seen as a YouTube short. There are these, like... Something made by... It, AI, it feels like. Fucking... It feels, it feels like some of these things are made by AI. Because there are those people that do the thing where they put, like... They just double up. Oh, Cortex wasn't second that time, by the way. Um... There are those people that do, like, the mobile games with Family Guy clips and shit like that, and it, ma it makes no sense. It's like it's built by a fucking robot, but they do it. But definitely... You can knock off a TNT crate stuck on your head by hopping repeatedly. I, it took you until ten fucking trophies to tell me. I need to find it. I'm gonna go out of my way to look for it. Because you it's so bizarre. What is his name? There it is. It's Faber Faber Soul. I'm gonna Just go to his fucking channel. Okay. I'm just gonna make like a browser source like right here and I'm just gonna throw it up on screen just so I can show you guys. Fucking... Is that right? Yeah, that's the right one. Okay, look, this. It's this dude, this guy, Faber Soul. He, like, make it a bit smaller, too, because I'm just going to full screen it. But, um, I'm not centering it either. I don't care. He makes, like, shorts, right? And his shorts are of, he, like, animates Yu-Gi-Oh! duels. Oh, no! So he has, like, fucking Pickle Rick. Attacking me with your dark Rick magician and, was a mistake, Pharaoh. Rick and Yami Thanks to Yuki. my magic card, my monster is stronger. I don't want to get, I also just, let me just be very clear, I don't want to get, let me just, I'll let you guys, we'll go to one of the video videos of it too, I think, because that way I'm not going to get caught by fucking DMCA because of whatever fucking music he's got in the background. At first of all, no one cares. Move on. Oh! What in the fuck did I come back to? I just wanted to say hi. Hello, Link. Thank you for the Prime sub in the 18 months been very good very very good uh you're coming back to me complaining Just, about shorts okay okay so 
Let's just, let's just, I'll, I'll let it play just for a second, just so you guys can just... Rick Sanchez, I've heard a lot about you. <coughs> I've been looking for you, Pharaoh. I need that Millennium Puzzle to find Prime Rick. You're going to lose Pharaoh. Let's, let's duel. duel! Sweet. I summon Pickle Rick in attack mode. Next, I'll play two cards face down and end my turn. Why would you summon such a weak monster in attack mode? Why don't you attack me and find out? Careful what you wish for. I play the magic card, Dog Magic Curtain. By paying half of my life points, I'm able to special- Okay. But anyway, it's just... It's just weird. Because it's like... They're animating it, and it's not even, like, horrible. It, it's really not even, like, that bad. It's just, like... Shocking. But the one that really blows me away... First I play the magic card, Pot of Weed. Pot of Weed lets is me drop three cards. The one where Ultimate he's fighting an Android Tate. This lets me take control of your monster. No! Now I play Portal Reborn by paying half my life points. Anyway. I just thought I was showing, oh, showing that off. It's so... Like, he's successful, too. He's got people, like, supporting him and shit. He's doing that animation thing, and honestly, props to him. Props to that guy. I wish I could be like that guy. Everything he does is, like, uh, sh shocking to me. I don't feel right looking at it. Because it's just weird. This game also doesn't have autosave. I forgot to mention that. Um, It's just weird to me to look at, but, like... God damn, does it. I just, I was clicking through shorts because I was bored one day. And, um, I was watching, like, food shorts because I just, I, I like watching the shorts about food because there are people that are like, let me cook this thing and it looks interesting and I just want to watch it just to see, like, what they're doing. It's what they, what they do. And it just, it just showed up. It, like, like, God came down from heaven and graced my computer with Rick Sanchez versus Android Tate dual video. My life has actively become worse for viewing Rick playing scuffed Yu-Gi-Oh. You're welcome. It could have been worse. You could have been watching me plot out my, my plan of attack in Microsoft Paint for 30 minutes on two different challenge tracks. I didn't want that bounce. I'm so mad. I'm so fucking mad. Korean streamer goes on an insane rant. Isn't that just what I normally do? Isn't that the reason why people, like, click on my shit is because I get mad at, like, everything and start ranting? I'm not promoting the content, I'm telling you about it. Fuck, man, am I not allowed to fucking share a story about shit? Just won't talk the whole stream. What do you want me to talk about? The sky? It sure is up there. 
wow, I saw the sky do this really cool thing the other day, and then you're just gonna be like, this dude only talks about the sky, and all it does is remind me about Skyda's Minecraft, which means he's promoting his content. Like, shut up! Who are you? Get out of my fucking chat! Chicken Little was a prophet? Uh, we never got Chicken Little. He got locked behind a fucking fight that crashed on the randomizer, so... Chicken Little is lost to time and space. Oh, you know, I said my next stream was gonna be the, uh... Was gonna be another Cult of the Lamb stream. I need to... How far back did you send me? Hello? Oh, it didn't send me that far back. It was just on a turn that looked exactly like the other turn. Okay. I was about to lose my fucking shit, man. Uh, I need to do the Deep Rock Galactic event. Cortex got eight. Rubber banding AI is not anything in this game. Brake sliding is an advanced how to lose during a race technique, if any of you are interested in doing that. Ugh, good old Electron Avenue. Fucking love this place. It gave me Engine as a partner. They tried to spare me from his ugly fucking icon this entire game. And this is the first time we get him. Oh, okay. Fucking kill me? Here's the frenzy. The frenzy I've been talking about the whole game. There it is. That's what it looks like. Are you fucking? Oh. 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 
You guys having fun talking about fucking clouds? Oh, I'm supposed to let go of the gas before I... Yeah, okay. Before I jump. That was the part that... That was the part that I got stuck at on doing air drift, break air, break in the air... air. That's where I got stuck. So you know, very few racers have ever won all 12 trophies. Yes, they deserve it. But now, they must face my finest racer. Giri, champion of Techni. The pinnacle of robotics. Isn't that right, Giri? Only a robot can achieve perfection in motion. I will demolish it! Oh, what a mess! Can't have that in the game. Now, where was I? Oh, okay. Wumpa fruit will make your cart go faster. Collect ten Wumpa fruit to juice up your cart and make your power up stronger. I don't think there's really anything lil about Geary, but you believe what you want to believe. All right. I need it. Okay, there should be no train because boss, we're back on the train stage again. It's this and then we get to do another purple and then another thing and then we get into the actual meat of the game which I'm probably not going to do today or maybe even not on stream. But it's, uh, it's like Norm where he had extra racers except now there's two of them. His voice is so ridiculous, what the fuck? I remember it being, like, kinda wacky, goofy, but never like that. Never this, bro. Out of bounds, bitch. And I will pass you. Oh! <laughs> 
Oh my god. I don't know, really I don't know if I'm crazy, but the more I play this and the more I watch things happen, it feels like it's a little more broken than the GameCube version of the game. And I really don't know if that's just a funny porting to different console process that happened, or what. Optimus Grime, that's a funny, that's a funny title. I appreciate that. Podium. And when you're done with that, you will clean the entire Coliseum. <laughs> you now have all four champion keys. And with these, you can now challenge the most accomplished racer in the entire galaxy. Me. And I never lose. Yeah, you tell him, Velo. Velo versus Velo. Well, we have an intermission to do really quick before we get to do Velo versus Velo. Perfect! You want a key! As exciting and cool as that is, and as nice as it will be, uh, <laughs> we have unfinished business <laughs> that we need to go back and do. And Magnetic Mayhem. I meant to choose Cortex. This is already not looking great. I don't remember. Look at fucking Cortex astral projecting. What the fuck? That's awesome. I don't remember this course at all. So this one's gonna be... Okay. Starting right off the bat, I'm gonna switch to Cortex so we don't have to deal with that at all. Was there... did an achievement pop up for that? I didn't see one in the corner at all. Hold on. It wouldn't just not do that for me, right? Oh dear god. Oh dear god. Oh dear god. Oh lord. Oh lord have mercy. We have to beat it with a minute 15 left on the clock. I'm not sure if you guys notice, but they give you about three minutes to do this one, so... First things first, shit like this, getting that box and trying to throw it at this is not viable. So if we do a route, we're not doing that, because it wouldn't work.
Oh, do I die anyway? Here you go. Yeah, we're gonna have to start using bombs, like, have to use bombs to open some of these bad boys up. Like this one. I believe there's enough on this area to get mostly most of them, and then there's like six on the ramps or some shit. Hi, Val. Welcome. I'm never, never, ever pulling that off again. What the fuck was that? that means. We're using the, uh, Attorney Investment. Where the fuck did you come from? Get out of here. We're doing the Ace Attorney Investigations music for this one as we open paint for the <laughs> third time today. Oh. Uh... Oh, God. Okay, here we go. Let's get a feel for this area first, right? So we'll call this area a rectangle. A rectangle with ramps. The ramps have presses on them. No, they don't. There's a press in the middle. But otherwise, there's this. Conveyor belts to death, and then there's a zero grab section with that shit. Okay. Okay. I, uh... May have crashed the game, naturally. I may have unironically just crashed the game naturally. I pressed restart and pause at the same time. Um... Well... Um... That's awkward. Well, you know... That means we have to redo some shit. I'm glad that I had the foresight to save my game earlier. Universal Interactive presents a turbocharged extravaganza by Vicarious Visions. Brace yourself for Crash Microcard! Thank you, Chris, for the clip. Oh, God. God. Well, we get to redo two of them. Props to me for having the fucking foresight to save my game, but not save my game after I beat the boss. This is what I get. This is exactly what I get. No, dude, I was so ready. I was so ready to be done with this content and just be able to do the final shit. I 
I'm not even gonna try. Hura is the only one that also didn't get crushed. Are you serious? Of every NPC I have to listen to, it has to be you. That bomb was insane. You can manually detonate the bombs, by the way, if you press attack again after you throw it out. It definitely, the funny thing is the only reason races are ever going to be comparable to crystals is because of the fact that I'm having to redo them right now. If I went and did the other challenges too, it would be 99% me doing races. Because the crystal shit would happen, it would be there, and it would be gone. Fun fact about that train, uh, that little part of track that's floating back there, if you jump into the train at all or have to run into it at all, even when it's not like near you, near you, like you could land on top of it, it'll still crush you and make you sit through that entire you've been crushed wait for forever animation. That thing is a nightmare to deal with. This right now counts as crystal. Oh. I mean, if they maybe didn't make their fucking pause menu so easy to accidentally... Oh. Accidentally break. And maybe this wouldn't have happened. <laughs> ah, all of my energy is back. I feel refreshed. You make tight turns. Break slide by holding down the brake button while turning hard in the direction you want to go. Well, that does make me feel. I do feel a little bit better because uh, I wanted to listen to the last time he said you get a trophy. But I skipped it on accident because I was sick of the the conversation of how chat was acting. But I was more so sick of doing this fucking course because I hate this course. Some people, some people love it. I personally hate it. Tiny Flash! 
The fucking the cards fucking bumping into each other in this version compared to GameCube. It seems so violent. It seems like you touch a car and the entire there's no way that thing didn't break on its way over to me. Could you imagine? Could you imagine being, like, too good at the game so it does shit like that to you? You want ironically are doing too well, so they do that to you instead. I love my busted ass video game. Like, did you hear how many times I crashed into him? That was like eight noises. Too good, let me make your life a misery. Uh, that's my story, story of my life. I hope you guys like the shield noise, because this one is not going away. And that's not a guarantee of me being good at the game, I mean it's literally, it's not going away. I wanted to bring something up this stream. Um, they updated Cult of the Lamb recently. Just a few quality of life things and bug fixes and stuff like that. Does the car move slower in zero-g areas? Yeah, it does. Um, it does, unfortunately. It moves slower, it's slicker, it's a little bit harder to get drift boosts and stuff. It's not quite nearly as, I'm on, I'm gonna be honest, it's not nearly as, like, weird as it is to swap to 0G and 8 Deluxe, where it's, like, mostly the same, but also absolutely not the same in the slightest. But, it is different. Sometimes for better, sometimes for worse. But, uh, yeah, Cult of the Lamb had some quality of life changes and a bug fix update and stuff like that. And we can rename our cult, so people that people that wanted to name it Cult of the Bebo and then immediately regretted it, we can we can change that now. We can change it whenever we want. I'm eating a Milano. Excellent! You win a trophy! Wumpa fruit will make your cart go faster! Collect ten one for fruit to juice up your Yes, you won a trophy.
Ah. I need speed. First time we've been hit by one of these things. Stay away, you filthy thing. How Bitch. am I losing? What did I do wrong? Like what specifically? Yeah, the fucking recap episode. I've missed like three drift extensions this entire race. Hold on. This is ridiculous. More of my fucking controller drifting to the left. We love that. Now. That all being said and done. No, D-pad, stop it. I need a new controller. I need to start a throne and I need to get a new controller. Those are two different things that I need to do. Because I'm sick and fucking tired of pressing D-pad down and having it say B button. Or D-pad down and having it say Y button. Because I'm tiny again. God damn it. Gosh freaking darn it. Okay, so what? It's like... Is there one on this side too? No. It's not like that on the side we start on. There's a box right there. Okay. Okay. You.
So, here we go. Rectangle, thick rectangle. Let's just make it not full size. This is our arena and what we have to work with. There's conveyor belts on the sides. Everything else to the side of that is death. We block that. Block that. Smiley face for good luck? No. Smiley face is just gonna get me frustrated. I need a bigger canvas. Dude, I don't wanna make it any bigger. So I'm compromising more of my space. But I could do it vertically, technically. I guess that's true. exactly the way I think it is. Okay, so it's like... Conveyor belts are not that big. And more like, I would assume like... Here? Would that be accurate? Also going this way. Same on every side. The wall here, and then there's... Yeah, it's about the same on every side, okay. is so cursed. Let's let's make sure this never has to happen again, right? I'm 
do the same to this side too, hopefully, if I can grab onto it properly. Yeah, okay. So, it's basically like, it's more or less like that. Okay. And we start... Okay. We start about right here. So, let's do the same circle that we always do. We start about right here. And we are facing directly into directly into the corner. Boom. Boom. Alright. Good. We did it, gamers. We set it up. And now, the rest of this is us making the thing. So, right off the bat, I noticed that, so I want to draw that. It's that's a tiny ass. I told you to be big. Boom, boom, boom. With a crystal behind it, which we need a box for. There's a TNT, like, right in front of us. Let's draw, what shape is this in? Is this just a rectangle off the entire rest of it? So it's a rectangle and then it follows this, like, pattern. So let's, let's draw that in super quick. Rectangle like that's pink. No fill. A rectangle like that, and then it's like the. God, how do you draw that? It's a square with a with a plus mark on it. More like a. like a dodecahedron. Are there dodecahedrons in paint? No, why not? Has technology not advanced that far? Why pink? How come why pink? Why, why come pink? Um, we'll just make a circular hole in that. And we'll call that good enough. But it's more like a hole with the with the shape cut out of it, huh? More like we gotta do like we'll just be super lazy. We'll just be incredibly lazy with it, and we'll just we'll just do that, and we'll call that like good enough for now, because I don't. I don't feel like drawing every little, every little detail. I kind of want to draw the, like, that detail, that detail, but they're more like ramps. What does the switch do? Let's find out. Crush. Crushma. The switch is Crushma. Okay, so I know about this instantly. There's a There's a jumpy crystal here. We're gonna ignore that the other crate is there. And then there's a nitro here. Because we don't We don't really that's it's not real. We're just gonna say it's not real. There's a crate right here. Oh my fucking god, this is stupid. Like, pretty much right there, there's a nitro with a jumpy crystal on it, and then there's two floating ones next to it. The box right here, with a jumpy crystal here. I would assume everything's mirrored, so I just I'm gonna make sure that this is going to the to our left as we approach it. To the left as we approach it. Yes, okay. 
So every everything is correct as it should be. I gotta sleep. Good night, Chris. Thank you for dropping by. Have a good night. Good luck with work tomorrow. Okay. There's also one right here. That's another good point. There's another rectangle right here. Hold on. It's like a very thin rectangle, but it's a long rectangle, and it's like this on both sides. Got to keep that in mind. There's another one. Not there. It's on this side. So these are right next to each other, yeah, and then there's an air crate right above me. Which will be... God, air crate. Uh, that color, I guess. Sure, why not? Is it right out the ramp? Right out the ramp, and then there's you, 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 and crystal. There we go. That's better. Looks like there's another nitro right up here. Gonna be nice and methodical with all this shit. Cause Lord knows I'm gonna forget something stupid. Okay, there's a box off the top right. And then TNT box TNT leading straight up into here. on this side, and a crystal. Air crystal, and... No, that's my counter. Ah, you almost fooled me! You almost thought my eyes didn't work, and you were almost right. But I'm on to you. Uh, TNT, after the jump, straight out. Right here-ish. But I think it was the triple... Yeah, triple nitro with the crystal again. I hope the Crash Nitro Kart speedrunning community appreciates my mapping out things for them. Because they have no idea that I'm doing this for them. Or that they want it, or need it, for that matter. Back where we start. Let's just restart so we get the timer back, too. Oh, it just crashes. Oh, it just doesn't like this part. Oh. Let me save this. Just in case. Um. Well, y'all know what that means. Thank God I saved this time, you're definitely right. I'm glad it was consistent up to this point, because if it had done this to us on a before point, I would have lost my mind.
this is the funny, yeah, the funny quadra. This one is fine. This one's not rude. I should give myself a better view so I can wrap my head around it better. Yeah. Oh, it's like... Crate here. We got the funny nitro going on over here again. Nitro, nitro, crystal. There's a little centerpiece here, it looks like, as well, that we're gonna need to... I'm not gonna mark it on the map, I'm just gonna let it exist as is. I'm also gonna move this nightmare that I just fucked up drawing down here, so it's more in line with the other one. Did I just not get it? Hold on. Got it. So it's technically not an air crystal, but technically I had to be in the air to get it, so. Let's keep that in mind, shall we, for when I inevitably miss it? same design as the bottom. It's literally the same design. Did I miss one? I think I just don't know how to count. I think I'm just a little stupid. Excellent. 
Got those ones. Got the one in the middle. I think it crashes because it had so many crates to load in. It's like struggling. Okay, so one, two, three, four. Unless if I miss one on this side. Very possible, I just don't know how to count. Okay. There's two, three, four. There should be four up here. Just four. Okay. Five, six, seven, eight, nine in the middle, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. 18, 19, 20. What am I missing? 1, 2, 3, 4. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. What? I think I just don't know how to count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Yeah, that's 20. Dear God. Dear, dear, dear God. God of the deers. Dear God. Counting is hard to be fair. It shouldn't be. All right. Go, go nuts. Go nuts, science department. Go crazy. I don't even know where to begin with this thing. How much time do we have? We start with... a crashed game. Usually. We have to, like, get this shit right, too. I see is the problem. The other problem. The problem herein lie. I'm with the science team. I think you're right, though. I'm pretty sure it is. Pretty sure it is 240, and we need to do it in 115. Or with 115 left. Yeah, 240. So we have a minute and 25. Is that what that is? Yeah. 85 seconds for this. Some of these we could maybe, maybe, if we route it correctly, maybe cheese. That being said, I prefer to not do that. I think I'm going to start with for my own self, I think I'm gonna start with a uh, a hard right to get this one, get this item, go for this one, shoot this one, get this item, jump off, get this one, work everything up here, jump off for this item, come around for this one. Maybe not for this one yet. I held my mouse down the whole time. Okay. Hard this way. Get this one. Get this one. 
grab this one, grab this crate to go this way, do everything up here, whatever. Okay, and then we end up here. Grab this crate. Probably do this shit here. Grab this one in hard turn. To grab this box. Break that. Sneak around and grab this one. Go do this shit. Hmm. Hmm. These two in the corner that are bugging me. So maybe there's a better way to get these two. Did I just create a dude? It looks like a dude. It looks like I created like a dude with a hat. <laughs> dude with hat. Anyway. I don't know how much I want to cut through the middle. Because it would be, that's so much travel time to spend doing that sort of thing. And I should be tackling it from this side. I might even have to end up doing shit where I like... When I go tackle this one with this box that I get, I like get this one, do that one, and then I just like do some bounces, get around to get this box... Do this one. I don't know. I think that's what I'm going to do. I think that's how we're going to start it. Stuff like that. So start on the right. Get this shit. And then when I jump off hard left. Go from there. Cortex, I need you to listen to my buttons. This is so volatile. Senate boss, man, it's very similar. I believe it. Okay, box, yup, down and around, go up, do this shit. Yeah, yeah, that, that fun stuff. Grab the air box, boom here, grab middle. Hmm. It is similar. The only thing I'm concerned about is how much work it's going to take to finagle so many of these nitro crates. Especially if that, that is hard to do, then I might as well do that and just go back for it and start doing this instead. Advantage, Cortex. You fucking miss? No. At that point, I might as well just do that, right? Oh, I missed. RNG? RNG is a principal. The part of this fucking run? I'm missing two more on the ground? Where am I missing? Ah, oh, yeah. That does make sense. God damn it. Did it take me back to the map? said retry. I think this game is just broke, did? Either I'm being hit by please don't emulate and retro achieve our shit, or the game was actually like this when it launched, which I would also believe, since I, you know, 
never had this version of the game when I was a child. Right now I've got my dump copy sitting next to me in its box next to ATV Off-Road Fury 2 for also the Sony PlayStation 2 and Final Fantasy 10. I'll take the game being awkward and like sort of kicking me out. I can't match like that. If I match like that, it's it's over. Here you go. That did not feel good. Which is rough as shit, because trying to Like, I could do that for some of them, technically, but it's not preferred. Oh, this is a nightmare. Is that a crash crash? It's another crash crash. Okay. Well, in that case... In that case, we're not doing this now. We'll come back to this. Hopefully in a future PCSX2 update, that'll be fixed. Or maybe, again, the game is actually just that fucking broken. But... We'll, uh, we'll go from there. That is vital information to have, too. Is that little route that we have planted out right now to do this from right at the start? Literally, quite literally, just does not work. Turbocharged extravaganza by Vicarious Visions. So, that's gonna take some rerouting, and that's gonna take some hard work and pain and everything not working. But that does mean we get to go back to racing, and we get to do the last race, and then I think I'm gonna call it a stream after I beat it. Drop a safe state at the beginning. Uh, the thing about that is I'm, uh, I don't know if you saw the pop-up. I don't know if it shows up because I cropped it on the sides, but I'm on a thing called hardcore mode for retro achievements, which means that I cannot save state. I get double the points for every achievement I complete, but I'm not allowed to save state or rewind or things like that. I can fast forward because that's just mere sheer convenience for me to not waste my life away doing the same shit, but I think at the very least I'm gonna complete the challenge normally. Like not worry about oh my god, these these that fucking the zero gravity. I think the way that they incorporated it in this game is a lot nicer than in Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, but boy if there isn't some shit where they're like, let me keep your car on the ground permanently and it doesn't work. That was a great example of that. But I think I'm going to complete this normally, just so we have the token done. We can come back and do the challenge at another point. He says as he performs fucking perfectly and does everything. But yeah, we're just going to get her done. Some of these, too, it's very likely that you're able to, uh, jump over them and grab them, like I did on the four nitros that one time, but the likelihood of me actually doing that and playing that off, much less doing that, like, consistently for an actual attempt that we do. You also can't point, as I've tried to show off and have done to myself on accident a number of times, you can't just point blank the nitros with the bomb and be fine. As you will just get blown up by it anyway. Yeah, this is not the 115 we were looking for, but I'm just trying to get it done, so... Oh well. Problem for another time. I could also just time bomb throws if I need to. Like, if we want to be cheeky or creative with how we do some of them, that's a thing I can certainly incorporate 
like that. Like, we could... That's something I could consistently do. On that part? Like, who cares? I'm doing that every day of the week. But, uh... Almost every other thing that we do... No, not at all. So, there we go. We're not even the worst time on the leaderboard, which is pretty funny. But, there we go. Token's all done. Sloppy as shit. Terrible. Looked awful the whole time. But, we made it out. And at the end of the day... That's, that's, that really, that really is the, the, that, uh, that, that, that really, um, that is truly what I was trying to do. Save the map somewhere? I already did. No, definitely not. Never want to do that shit again. Revised. Pin. Speaking of pins, I need to take this one out. Uh, yoink. Let's, uh, let's get this final race underway. The Galaxy Championship versus Velo. It seems that I did not give you enough credit, yes? I won't make that mistake again. You savages will learn fear, just as millions have before you. <laughs> So what would have been really cool in this race is if they went through the whole team thing and made it like you had a teammate or even both of the other AI because it would be a 3v3. Uh, unfortunately, that is not how this situation works. It is just a normal boss race, but the course is really hard and he has two lackeys that help him. It's also the longest course in the entire game. No contest by far. They start attacking here. I believe the small dudes drop plasma on the floor. Boost panels you can hit, but there's flamethrowers next to them. Crazy shortcuts, crazy other traps. Velo also attacks you. Thank God I had a boost, huh? Uh, as a normal course, the lightning here, the red electricity, actually rotates along the entire thing, kind of like the blades back from World 2 and the underwater level. I had to adjust in the air so I didn't hit the fucking wall. And you wish you had your Mario Kart? You always wish you had your Mario Kart. No, my boost counter! He tried to block the shortcut. Asshole AI. Asshole. Ah. Asshole! It's different when you see it. I mean, I guess. Them pooping these out means that they were really close to me. I don't know how close they are currently, and I refuse to look in my rear view. 
Okay. I don't know how close they are, but like... He must have been pretty close to still be pooping those out at me. Oh my god. They're being really annoying, this race. No. Oh shit, I forgot, never mind, the wall isn't real. Thank god for that. That wall is very real. Blessed by fake wall. Bless up. We love not real geometry. But they had to make the top of the tower in that other course where you could jump and hit the fucking entirety of it. They had to make that entire thing solid. I have to go this way. I couldn't turn because of that plasma in the way. My fruit, dude! My bone! My fruit! Oh, God! Oh. Maximum velocity. Hey, look, it's Oxus. Yeah. I agree, this should be a two lap. Congratulations, you have won the Galaxy Circuit, and you put on quite a show. Am I right, everyone? You are now free to go. Good, good. Now whip up that vortex of yours and send us back to Earth. What? But now I have to destroy Earth. Since you no longer want to race, you can't go back there. I thought I was pretty clear about that. Huh? Tiny doesn't get it. I do. Big Emperor Velo can't stand the fact he lost. Are you certain of that? A rematch then? Ha! Nothing to it. But there are rules to follow. You first need to earn all my time relics. Then we can race for the fate of your Earth. So he, uh, he literally hits you with the, do the bonus content, and then you can beat the game. We got a cutscene times three from that. Pretty cool. I believe it's from the other side of this. It's the other thing that we haven't seen yet. I'll show this off. We can go into Velo's vault. And I just want to show this place off. Because they, they do this. They show it off like this. Like there's like it's a battle arena. I don't think this is a battle arena. I think that's just something they made. But the fucking tokens that you can get. To compete in a gem cup. You must have enough tokens of the same color! Thank you, Mr. Krabs. If you get all four tokens of the same color by doing CNK races for red, green, and blue, which is the corresponding first, second, and third race on every single race, in every single world, then you can take on the Gem Cup, which is a collection of three races. Three, four, four races? Uh, I think it's three. Yeah, three races. 
Gem Cup is a series of races where you're rewarded points for each race. If you have the most points at the end of the cup, you will win a gem. These are actual, actual Grand Prix, actual GPs, which I'm not going to do right now. I'm satisfied. I'm satisfied with my work here. We're going to call it a stream there because I've been going for four hours. But all of the CNK stuff for the Gem Cups is uh, completely optional. The thing that is a lot less optional... Well, we're going to be doing it anyway, but that's not the point. The thing that's not optional is the time races, which is time attack where there are boxes with... It works just like normal Crash Bandicoot time attacks with the relics. They give you a... Huh. They time you to do three laps on every single course. And in that course, there are boxes with numbers on them. The numbers freeze the clock for that amount of seconds that it says on the box, the number on the box. And if you break them all, you get an extra time bonus off of the final clock. So we'll get to that when we get to that. And it might just be me getting to it alone. But that's going to be it for stream. I think we're good there. I think we're definitely good there. Uh, thank you all so much for watching. It's been pretty fun. I will not. I would not be. I would. I would be lying if I said that uh, this would have been bearable the whole time because of the crashing and such. But it wouldn't be a Velo stream without everything just kind of going wrong for no reason. Uh, next time, either. Hmm. Probably Deep Rock. How long does that event go on for, Diego? Do you know? Oh, never mind. I just looked. February 2nd. Okay. Yeah, next time I go live, we're definitely doing that event. If you want to if you wanna also stream it or whatever, or we could do it on your... Or whatever, however you want to do that. I would like to do the event as the next thing that I do. Cool. So, Yeah. Look forward to Deep Rock Galactic. Other than that, you guys have a uh, wonderful day. Uh, we can talk, yeah. Uh, you guys have a wonderful day or night. I'll catch you, I'll catch you next time. Word up, Coolio. <laughs> Velo jump scare. <laughs>